That yeah, cause they had him in a so. small that house. They had where yeah, he fell on bro. the table. Come on, bro. <laughs> like, Did that really even happen? Nah, I see. I was in. The Do you think that, that that happened? I was in the studio with him when he passed out. I was the only person in there. Me, him, and the engineer. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. I want, AI taking everything over nowadays, anyway, so yeah. they're taking a lot of jobs. I want to talk about uh, straight out of Compton, mm -hmm. uh, you know, G Two Tone, which is Compton Menace. Okay, he played his part in it, but you had some discrepancies with the movie. Uh, you felt like, you know, it some of the stuff projected and it wasn't it was biased or it yeah, just absolutely. wasn't it wasn't it wasn't what that was it departs yeah, for like, the credibility of EZ yeah it's like they depicted him as being broke like he was uh, going broke and things like that yeah cause they he had, had him in a small that house they had where yeah, he fell on bro. the table come on bro <laughs> like, did that really even happen no nah, see I was in the studio do you think that, that that happened I was in the studio with him when he passed out I was the only person in there me him and the engineer you understand what I'm saying Wow, yeah. that's we was crazy. At, we was at a studio. Yeah, it was, was no house. It was at a studio. No, it was at a house on that movie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah on the movie, it. fell on the table at the house. Yeah, I think they did a lot of things for Hollywood. I think they, they Hollywooded the movie up to, you know what I'm saying, to get people interested, but a lot of that stuff is fictitious, bro. A lot when, of when, they, when they did that, you, you got you to gotta understand, there was also parts in there where, you know, shout out to DOC, man. Mm -hmm. I, I done had DOC on the show, but DOC... Oh, uh, you know, uh, he was in that movie depicted as well. Mm -hmm. um, it's a lot of times people people upset over these movies. I remember Lonzo it, said that it, it, it they depicted him wrong, but right. I told him, you know, they yeah. did say you wasn't you didn't like the music, nigga. Yeah, yeah, that's my nigga. You know what I'm saying? You ain't, you ain't like that rap music like that. Yeah, and he said that was correct. Yeah, but. A lot of stuff he didn't agree with. Yeah, a lot of it just, like I said, they, um, you know, you got to understand when Easy passed away, them guys didn't get along. You got to know that. So it's like how, I mean, if you don't talk to the people who was around, how you going to get the full story? They showed up like at the Ice hospital. Ice Cube left in 89. See, that's what I'm saying. That's, that's the another, part would mess you up, That's it? another thing I didn't see with my own eyes. I didn't see You that. never yeah, seen that. Because, I didn't see it. Because well, even KD said that um, that's how Ice Cube even heard that Easy was in the hospital is through him because they called him and then he went and told Ice Cube. See, I can say when we seen Ice Cube at, at certain points, they were cordial to each other. They would talk. They would go to the side and have conversations. Dr. Dre lived on uh, around the corner from Easy E in Calabasas. Okay, okay. So the whole time during that feud, them niggas lived right down the street from each so other. So they were right around the corner yeah, from each bro. other. So you know what I mean? It wasn't yeah. that serious. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But when you think about just you know. Rap music is competitive sport. Absolutely. You know what I mean? It's, it's, people compete. Teams compete. Then you black. Then you over here, you already, you know, you, you having time where you might see this person. They might see you. Yeah. You guys having a lot of money. Right. People having money at the time. Were they paying you properly? Oh, for sure. Let's yeah, be yeah. real Still for a minute. to this day, yeah, absolutely. They paid absolutely. good. That's the only way I'm surviving that. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. Because I, sure. I invested my whole life into that, so I don't. I don't have too many other skills, brother. You see what I'm saying? My whole life is invested since 11 years old. Wow. Yeah. And, and and that's the crazy part that everybody didn't get their money. Everybody act like... Yeah, that's it, on it, them. You know there was I mean? a lot of people that didn't, you know, they my, didn't sign a contract. Homeboys, right? My homeboys come in that studio and tell EZ right in his face, you fuck with my homeboys, we gonna kill you. That's, wow, that's the it was serious. Like, yeah, just like that. They made sure that you got taken yeah, care of. How was it when you signed your first contract with uh, Easy with Ruthless? I mean, we had the we had the standard contracts of the day, so we didn't get no hella upfront money or nothing like that. But the royalties been lovely. Wow! So yeah. he basically so so he how did he approach you about signing to him? Well, we did the song. We we didn't even have no paperwork. We was I just see, did we the in damn the studio. Song. That's what I'm trying to tell you. This <laughs> this how things used to go. So you know the studio is damn near like a kicking spot. You know what I'm saying? So you don't know who gonna fall through here and there. So sometimes if you in there, everybody smoking weed, chilling and stuff like that, and somebody put a beat on, right? And then whoever's in there probably working on the music, and they probably put another beat on, and now they're looking around like. Let somebody else come in here and do something to this. And then you'll end up making a song before you even talk about business. A lot of stuff used to happen like that back in the day. Wow, do you... Ice Cube breaking the table, breaking the chairs, breaking the I believe priority. that happened. Yeah. He went in there and I believe that, that was a hell of a situation. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he had to do it, though. But he, he... Were they not trying to pay... you? 
Yeah, easy bro, you don't know about the music. It was easy. It wasn't not, easy. Easy. That was easy. Me, easy. That's I'm talking about before pro- that. I'm talking about before oh, that. Maybe. When he I bumped wasn't his there. head. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I wasn't there. Though. And that's what made him. I thought that in the movie, to me, it was like, damn, that's why he got madder. You know what I mean? Yeah, that, I wasn't. That was, I wasn't there. That, that made it worse. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I wasn't not around. Ain't pay him. <laughs> damn, he done already got screwed once. See, that, he was uh, Cube was on a. He was solo at that time when he went into Brian Turner's office and broke all the stuff up. He wow. wasn't with NWA at the time. He wasn't with Easy. He, he was wasn't. he was solo. Yeah. But boy, I tell you, he was pissed. He was damn sure so pissed. As, rightly so. Though. Rightly so. Have yeah. you? And yours never had that problem because you always. Well, I have one situation. Let's talk about it. <laughs> All right. You so, know. <laughs> Let's talk so, about it. So what happened was, like I told you, the two guys who brought us to Easy, um, they had a, a subsidiary called Toenail Records that that was going to come out through Ruthless. Toenail record. Yeah, it's, 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 it stands for <laughs> toenail record. Yeah, it stands for two uh two old two old ordinary niggas um, acting illegally or something like that. That was that was wow. what it stood for, right? But anyhow, so we signed through Ruthless through these guys, and what ended up happening was at cer- at a certain point they end up falling out. Yeah, yeah. At a certain point they end up falling out, so we got kind of like stuck contractually for like a year. And what happened was I ended up going to the county jail. And while I'm in the county jail calling home, talking to my manager, he was like, Def Jam is trying to holler at you. Wow. And so I ended up signing through, I ended up signing the Def Jam in 1995. Wow. Who, 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 who set that up? Uh, my manager. And, and you like, did you like the deal? Oh, absolutely. But did, I was trying to get to they the give point. give advance on that? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, cool. Yeah, nice advance too, right? So anyhow, as, at a certain point when our album was due to come out, we had we had a single and then we had a B side. This one you had B side records. When we go in the stores, bro, you know, like used to like as an artist back in those days, you want to walk into a music store and see your shit displayed. Yeah, 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 for sure. So we walk in the store and we looking for our display. We find it and they got the B side record as the single. Wow. They got the single, which the video is out. Remember the box television? We number one on the box two, three oh, months in box. a row. Yeah, yeah, you went back. Bruh, so bam, we go in there and we see the B-side record with, with the um, all the fucking posters and shit. It's the B-side. And we like, what the fuck? So I go into the office and, you know, grab the CEO, set him down, pull the gun out. Let him know. Sign me out this contract right now. So that was a situation. That was my situation. Wow. So yeah. you had to you you had to do what you yeah, had to do. Yeah, because I'm like y'all trying to sabotage. They're trying to play you. Us. Exactly. Yeah. And I'm you've real. seen it. You seen can see it, it coming a mile Everybody away. Everybody's seen it. Wow. That's the good thing about it, man. That you had to, to know how to do that. Some people didn't, bro. Yeah. I mean, Some people didn't have the nuts to do it. Some people didn't understand the business. A I lot was, of guys was really really not in touch with. The fact of they get a little advanced and they go crazy. Oh yeah, them advances back in them days wasn't that big to go that crazy with. You know what I mean? They just wasn't, bro. Fifty thousand dollars ain't enough. Hell no. What's so the- yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk.